Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Tech Tejendra. And from today, I am starting the new tutorial series, which is Red Hat OpenShift Administration. So if you are the person who are looking some information about the OpenShift and mainly the administration of OpenShift, then you are at the right place. And for the student who, uh, who are willing to give exam of Red Hat 280, then it will be going to be a very good tutorial series for you. And I hope that uh, by uh, seeing all the chapters and by completing this tutorial series, you will able to complete this exam 280 very easily. And for the student who is looking some other exam and some other aspects of the OpenShift, then you can see my other tutorial series, which is OpenShift development and for exam 288, as well as for containers and Kubernetes, OpenShift containers, Kubernetes, exam 180, you can see, and for Ansible as well. So let me come to this tutorials. This is the chapter one. And in this chapter, we will discuss about the installation of OpenShift cluster. So there are many various ways enterprise uh, applications and enterprise uh, choose some other uh, methods of uh, installing the cluster as a student you can choose the other methods of cluster right because the open shift is the cost you think. and then we will discuss about the open shift architecture and at the end we will do the lab okay we will uh, deploy a sample application and then we will understand the initial concept of the node Board, right, and services and some other stuff, and we will play with the applications in the OpenShift cluster. Okay, so let me begin here with the installation of OpenShift. Okay, so for installation, right, okay, so install OpenShift cluster. Okay, here is the information given in the Red Hat site. Okay, I will also paste this URL in the uh, description. You can take it from there. So in the Red Hat, there are various ways to deploy the cluster. Okay, you can deploy OpenShift cluster either in the any cloud, maybe AWS cloud, Microsoft Azure cloud, IBM cloud, Google cloud, or if you don't want to have it in your cloud, then you can have it in your own data centers. Okay, so you can deploy it in data centers. And for the testing and uh, the development purpose only, right? And for the test purpose you like, then you can deploy the open, this is the new thing, okay? You can also deploy uh, your OpenShift cluster in your Windows machine, like right? So it is supporting, it is very kind of a small uh, kind of cluster, okay? And in a single machine, you can deploy it and can test the OpenShift, okay? But it is only for testing, okay? So this is available for Windows, Mac OS, and the Linux. Uh, we will come in uh, the requirement of the local later. Let me first discuss about the cloud. Okay, so here are various options as I told you, uh, like in Azure, uh, IBM, AWS, and some other cloud, right? Here is the list. You can deploy the OpenShift cluster. And uh, here are some trial also. Okay, you can uh, create the trial cluster as well. Okay, but while you will go for the trial, uh, remember that it will use the AWS account and in this account, then it will use the resource as well. So this trial might be free, but the resources which will be being used in the AWS and that uh, resources might be chargeable in your account. So be cautious about it. Okay. Um, uh, so in the cloud itself, how it will work, okay, I have created some dedicated and some other um, uh, tutorial on this, I will uh, give the link of these tutorials as well, okay, so if we go to these tutorials uh, um, for uh, installing the OpenShift into the AWS cloud, okay, you can uh, follow this, right, install uh, and uninstall OpenShift cluster in the AWS cloud, that is uh, um, uh, part of my tutorial series okay so you can check this in this i have shown how you can install uh, the open shift cluster in aws cloud okay okay so it is all about installing open shift cluster the full open shift cluster either in the daddy data center or in any of the cloud and but if you want to install this open shift cluster for test purpose only okay then you can opt the local one Okay, here it is providing uh, a small um, uh, minimal uh, cluster, okay, for your a single machine. In that case, it will not create the master node and the worker node. A single uh, machine will act as master as well as, as a uh, worker node, okay. Uh, but here also some limitation and some uh, requirement as well, okay. And if we will go to the requirement, these are the requirement your machine 
local machines should fulfill right the four physical cpu core 9 gb free memory and 35 gb for storage space and some pod main requirement is also here okay for two physical cpu core 2 gb of free memory and 30 so if your local machine is fulfilling this requirement and you are good to go and uh, you can uh install uh on this uh, uh, open shift cluster in your local machine as well for testing okay and then here are some other ways also okay and one way to work on open shift is the sandbox environment and this sandbox environment is provided by the open shift itself okay and this is the url i will give this url also uh in the um, description okay you can find it there uh while you will create this sandbox it is a shared environment for the developing and testing the things in the open shift okay so it is also the free for some time so you can start using uh, okay you can uh, set up your sandbox environment and can start using it okay how to create this sandbox and how to use it i have created some other um, uh, tutorial series for it's also you can find it here uh in the uh, 180 uh, exam series let me show you um okay here open shift quick start this is the this one is the um uh, tutorial in which you can find how to set up the sandbox environment okay and then further installing the open shift client because to work uh, from your machine okay to open shift you need the open shift client as well either you can do via the web client or via the cli client okay so these two uh, uh, series to these two video you can check okay i will give that uh, links in the description so now let me understand uh, the open shift architecture how open shift is built on okay so for it um so here it is the overall architecture of the open shift the foundation layer is the rhel core os which is your uh, red hat enterprise linux uh, above it we are having crio which is the container runtime okay and this container runtime is based on the oci which is uh, open container uh, informations and instructions okay then uh, open shift is uh, uh, built uh, on top of, of the kubernetes okay so here you can see the kubernetes and the etcd so uh, you know about the kubernetes it is the uh, container orchestration system okay and etcd is kind of a database which uh, have uh, the container state and the configuration stored inside it okay so while uh, kubernetes okay and the open shift having the master nodes right so it's uh, having all this information about the worker nodes and pods and everything inside the etcd database uh then uh, top of it uh, open shift begin right then uh, we have open shift uh, uh, community extension we have the runtime right so there is the concept we call it h2i in the open shift so that's why it is having so many these uh, images and runtimes in built in the open shift which is called java ub php and node js and many many others then we are having the containerized service right so authentication networking image registry many services are these services are top of the open shift and provided by the open uh, top of the community and provided by the open shift okay and then top thing is the um, uh, interface okay how we can connect uh, to the open shift Uh, so we can connect via the api via the web console and the cli okay so these are the power of the open shift it is having very good web console and very good cli commands api okay via uh, by using them we can connect with the open shift and can do our administration and deployment and development kind of things inside the open shift okay so what is the main difference between the kubernetes and uh, open shift so open shift you can think about a final a uh, product right like if i give you example in a lamenter then uh, uh, simply um, understood by a car right so car is the final product so car is a uh, open shift and engine inside the car is the kubernetes okay so via engine um, if you are having engine only then you can you cannot go uh, anywhere right so you need a car for it so that's why uh, open shift is the final solution and the enterprise solution to deploy uh, an application with security and lot of other things 
okay so that's why uh, this is the basic difference between open set and kubernetes okay so let me go ahead for the, our next discussion and it is the demonstration about uh, the lab okay and we will deploy one application into the open shift environment okay so for it uh, i am having uh, my cluster ready okay and if i uh, go to my cluster it is my cluster environment okay and uh, uh, let me show you who am i Okay, so I have logged in into my cluster, uh, OpenShift cluster as the developer, okay? And uh, if we see if we are having any projects there, then this is the command. Okay, currently I am not having any projects. So first thing, let me create a project here to start with the OpenShift, okay? So that's, we will create the command, uh, OC new project, and we will give the project name that gave it name as chapter one. Okay, so our project is created and we are now inside the um, our uh, uh, chapter one project. Okay, if we check this and it is saying that you are in the project chapter one. Okay, uh, to check what all resources we are having in this project, we will give command OC get all. Okay, so currently it is saying that we are having no resources here. Okay. And uh, then uh, here, let me uh, um, install one uh, sample application there, okay? And I will uh, um, give you, I mean, I will tell you all about this command, okay? So this is the command and I will paste all these commands also uh, in the description, okay? So it will be easy for you to use them. So it is the OC new app command, okay? And uh, uh, by executing this command, it will uh, create and install a application inside the OpenShift cluster. And that application name would be hello. And it will get this application uh, from the image registry. And this image registry is the queer.io, right? If you're not aware about the queer.io, then it is the same kind of repository registry and image repository as the Docker Hub, okay? So from queer.io, it will get this uh, uh, Nginx image, hello world Nginx image, and will deploy into our OpenShift cluster, okay? So let me do that. Okay, it is deploying the application now. And if we go and check this thing again, OC get all, then you can see, okay, uh, our uh, pod, it has created one pod, okay. And this pod is in the running state. It also created one service. It also created one deployment, okay. And it created a replica set as well as it created an internal image stream, right? So it get the image from the queer.io and then it stored this image inside its internal image stream, okay? And uh, it tagged this image uh, with this value, okay? Now let's see uh, whether our application is working or not, okay? So because it is the, um, for, for do so, uh, we have the service, but we do not have the route. So we have to expose our service to get the route, okay? So for it, we will give command OC, expose service, and service name is hello, okay? So our route is created. And once again, if we will give OC get all, then it will display the route as well, right? So, Apart from all these things, it's now have created the route also. Okay? It have created the route also, and this is our uh, uh, URL and route we can say, okay? So now let me try to access our application by using this route and by using the CURL. Okay, so it means our application is up and running and accessible. Okay, we can see this message hello word from the engineer. So our application is up and running very well. Okay, now let me check our port. Okay, so for it, we will give command OC get 
pod currently our single app a single pod is running okay and uh, if it if i tell you about the environment then um, generally open shift create some uh, um, uh, master node and the worker node okay and this master node and worker node combination of master node and worker node we call it the cluster okay so if we check how our uh, this pod is running in which node and which uh, uh, master and worker node okay for it we have to give command oc get pod hyphen o wide okay now it is giving all the information about other information about the pod as well okay so my application is running in the master node okay and if you want to check how how many nodes are there then you can give command oc get node okay but this for the executing this command you should have at least the admin administration rights to act to uh, execute this command if i have i will execute then it is saying the forbidden okay i do not have the access okay for it i have to uh, log in with my admin command okay so if i go do that oc login uh, user as admin and okay so i have logged in as an admin user now and now if i give command as oc get node then you can see right i am having uh, three uh, nodes here okay in my cluster master one master two and master three and these all nodes are working as a master and worker both okay ideally in the enterprise environment uh, master node are separate and worker node are separate but for this my environment this master and worker node are the common it is the combination of both okay let me log in back again uh, with my developer app okay so so far our application is running on a uh, single uh, pod okay now let me uh, try to um, scale it okay may let's suppose our application uh, is having a lot of load now okay a lot of around the world a lot of users are trying to access this application okay so we need to now horizontally scale it okay how we can scale it simply if we run this command okay so what we are doing here we are scaling and we are scaling to the four replicas currently it is running on a single replica so we are now uh, scaling it up to the four replicas and our deployment name is the help okay so if we will execute this then and now if we again uh, see uh, this command okay then we can see our application has been scaled to the uh, four ports here now and these ports now you can see these are running on the different nodes okay you can see two ports are running in the uh, master one node and one port is running at master zero two port and one port is running at the master zero three port okay that is how uh, this application is running let me see if any command is still pending to so yeah okay so uh, that's all uh, for this video okay and uh, if you are done then how we can uh, remove uh, the project from the cluster. Okay, so for it, we'll see. Uh, delete project, and our project name is chapter one. Okay, so in this way, it will delete the project and the all uh, resources this project has consumed. Okay. So this is all for this uh, uh, tutorial. This was the first project. So we will we discuss very simple things about the OpenShift. And from the uh, next tutorial, we will uh, deep dive in the more um, aspects of the OpenShift administration. Thank you for watching. Bye.